So, a while back now, the asset creator of the Digger Asset Pack reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out the Digger Asset. And of course, I said yes. Now the Digger Asset is actually a tool that extends the power of the standard terrain system, allowing you to create caves, overhangs, etc. If this sounds interesting to you, stick around, because I'll be going over the asset in more detail at the end of the video. So with this new terrain power, I had thousands of ideas going through my head of what I could create. One of my first ideas was to create a countryside scene with a small rabbit hole that extended underground to reveal an entire rabbit city. This would have been cool, but it was way too ambitious, and I just didn't have the time to commit to something that big. So my next idea was to create a dwarven-like fortress within a mountain. And unlike the rabbit hole idea, I had actually created this one. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen some screenshots of this scene. However, I felt this scene didn't show off the full potential of the digger asset, so I decided to go back to the drawing board. I had no idea what to create, but as I was messing around with the asset, I had a crazy idea. That technically, you could use the asset to create entire sculptures. It would be extremely hard, but possible. And so, I decided to create an entire sculpture in the terrain system, and this is how it went.
And there it is. I'm actually really happy with this result. I wasn't sure if I would have been able to do this when I started, but luckily it all worked out. Now, unfortunately, I would have liked a higher resolution, but I had forgotten to increase the digger resolution when I started, and with this asset pack, to change the resolution you have to clear everything. In total, this took an entire day to complete, so let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Now let's have a detailed look into the assets. The digger asset has two variants, a standard and a pro version. The standard version costs $39 or €34.84, while the pro version costs $64 or €57.17. The pro version includes everything you just saw, plus the addition of real-time in-game editing, which allows you, for instance, to have dynamic train destruction while in-game. For this video, I was using the standard version. The installation process for this asset requires some setup work in your project before you can download from the store. What you need to do is install a series of packages available from the package manager, which you can get by navigating to Window, Package Manager. Make sure to click under Advanced and select Show Preview Packages. Now just install the packages Mathematics, Collections and Burst. After all these packages are successfully installed, you can now download the Digger asset from the store page. To start using the Digger asset, create a terrain by navigating to Game Object, 3D Object, Terrain. After that, click on Tools, which should have been added when you install the Digger asset pack, then Digger, Set up terrains. And that's essentially it. You can now dig holes, paint, add new geometry through the digger system. Just click on the digger master game object that was added in your hierarchy. Now let's quickly go over the interface so you know exactly what everything does. The action dropdown will allow you to select different modes, either dig, add, paint, reset, and smooth. I believe all of these are self explanatory and they work in a similar way to the standard terrain system. The following sliders also correspond to the standard train system, however there is now the inclusion of the depth slider which just controls how deep you would dig. This is usable for precise work. Finally, know that the smooth tool behaves differently to the dig and add options, as you do not click and drag like you would on the standard train system, instead you just click once on the area you want to smooth. The next tab, titled settings, has some parameters for you to control LODs. However, the most important parameter is probably the resolution drop-down. There are four available options with larger multipliers corresponding to higher resolutions. Note as the resolution increases, you may have some lag or delay when using the dig or add tools. The next tab is a link to documentation, which is useful if you get stuck or confused. Alternatively, if you search digger documentation in your project, you will find the same PDF. So that's all for now, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've linked the asset pack in the description below if you're interested. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.